Hello dear friends, in trick number 168, we are going to do an amazing shortcut for finding the number of divisors of any composite number. Now for example, suppose x is any composite number and we need to find how many divisors does x have. So we have to just make the prime factors of x and express them in powers. Suppose the prime factors of x are a raised to power m into b raised to power n. Suppose there are two factors a and b repeated m times and n times. Then number of divisors of this number x will be the power of a is m so just increase m by 1 and the power of b is n so just increase n by 1 and multiply the two obtained numbers you will get the number of divisors of x now suppose x has more than two factors say a b and now we have another factor c now the number of divisors will be found out in the same manner as we have found here m plus 1 n plus 1 and here we will have one more term p plus 1 multiplied together with the previous two terms now to understand this let us solve some questions suppose we have to find the number of divisors of 8 now 8 is expressed as 2 into 2 into 2 now remember one important thing is that a and b the factors have to be prime so a comma b are prime this is an important condition because if you do not make prime factors then this result will not be true so 8 can be factorized as 2 into 2 into 2 3 prime factors so this is 2 raised to power 3 now we have only one factor 2 repeated 3 times so number of divisors of 8 will be power 3 plus 1 that is 4 so here we had 2 factors so 2 terms here we have only one factor so only one term and power is increased by 1 so 4 so number of divisors of 8 is 4 and which are the divisors? The divisors of 8 are 1. Obviously, 1 is a divisor of every number. 2, 2 4 is 8. Then 4, 4 2 is 8. And obviously, every number is a divisor of itself. So, we have the 4 divisors of 8 as 1, 2, 4 and 8. And this is verified here because the number of divisors is obtained directly by using this shortcut. Now to understand this in a better way, let us take one more example, a little bit larger number, say we have 72. Now 72, the factors of 72 are 2, we get 36, 2, we get 18, 2, we get 9, 3, we get 3 and 3, we get 1. So 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. So this is the prime factorization of 72. Now this can be expressed in powers as 2 raised to power 3, 2 repeated 3 times and 3 repeated 2 times. So now we have expressed this number 72 in the form of a raised to power m into b raised to power m. So directly we can find the number of divisors of this composite number as the power is 3 here so 3 plus 1 and the power is 2 here so 2 plus 1. So this gives us 4 into 3, 12 divisors so the divisors of 72 are 12 in number and if you want to verify it yes we can solve this say the divisors are 1 we have to start from 1 then obviously it is divisible by 2 divisible by 3 divisible by 4 not with not with 5 then with 6 8 9 the 72 9 8 the 72 12 6 are 72. So these are some of the factors. Then 18, 4 the 72. Then 24, 3 the 72. 
then 36 twos are 72 and 72 ones are 72. So if you count this 3, 3, 6, 3, 9 and 3, 12. So these are the 12 divisors of 72. Likewise, if you take some larger numbers, you can very easily find the total number of divisors and when the students are asked to enlist the divisors of a particular number, they will not miss out any divisor because they will already know how many divisors does a particular number have. Now let us take one more example, say we have 375. Now the factorization of 375 is 3 into 5 into 5 into 5. That gives us 3 raised to power 1 and 5 raised to power 3. So the, the number of divisors is, this is power 1, so 1 plus 1 and this is power 3, so 3 plus 1. So 4, 3 plus 1, 4 into 1 plus 1, 2, so 8 divisors. So there are 8 divisors of 375 and if you want to enlist that, we start from 1 and obviously the number is 375, 7 plus 3, 10 plus 5, 15. So it is divisible by 3 also. Then obviously it's ending with 5, so it is divisible by 5 also. Corresponding to that, we have 15, 25 as some more factors. Then 75, 125 and 375. So these are the 8 divisors of 375. Take one more example, say 9000. Now it's a big number and we need to find the number of divisors. This question can exist in competitive exams but not for small students because they are asked to enlist the divisors not to find the number of divisors. So number of devices is basically asked in competitive exams. So this is an amazing shortcut for that. Now for 9000, if you start factorizing 9000, we will have 2, 3 times that gives us 8, then 3, 2 times. 8 times the 72 and then 5 3 times which gives us 9000. So divisors can be found out by expressing them in powers first. So these are the powers and now we have the number of divisors as 3 plus 1 4, 2 plus 1 3 and 3 plus 1 4. So 4 for the 16 3 is the 48. So 9000 is exactly divisible by 48 numbers. So an important shortcut for competitive exams and students can at junior level can verify how many devices they have written and whether they have missed out any devices or not. So through this method you can save a lot of time in examination without listing the number of devices you can find out. Uh, exact number through which that particular number is divisible. So keep learning and keep loving mathematics. Share and subscribe the channel if you like it.